The Maxima has been Nissan's preeminent family sedan for more than 35 years. But seeing as the midsize Altima now features more interior volume, along with an $8,000 price advantage, is there still room in Nissan's lineup for a semi-traditional full-size sedan? To answer that question is to understand its place in the universe. Nissan has repositioned the Maxima to be the ultra-stylish sports car among four-door family haulers, thus distinguishing it from the softer-looking and softer-driving Altima. Like fellow full-sizes from Toyota, Chrysler, and Chevrolet, the Nissan Maxima further differentiates itself from today's crop of equally roomy mid-size sedans with a quieter, more premium interior and expanded feature set. To that end, the Maxima's interior charms with cushy touch points, supremely comfortable front seats with optional thigh extensions, and enough steering adjustability to make a Porsche enthusiast swoon. It may not support Android Auto, but the standard 8-inch touch and remote-controlled infotainment system is a cinch to use and comes paired with a nifty 7-inch instrument cluster display. In typical Nissan fashion, the cabin can be furnished with a number of unconventional finishers, including this diamond-faceted wood grain trim that looks modern and unique without going overboard. Case in point. It may fall under the oxymoronic four-door coupe designation, but the rear seats still provide adequate headroom for most adults in addition to a wealth of legroom. Trunk space trails the competition on paper, but never do we find ourselves longing for extra room while loading gear. And despite its sloping roofline and deck lid, the Maxima happily accommodates a trunk mounted bike rack. You're probably thinking, how can a front drive full size sedan with a CVT transmission be any fun to drive? I honestly don't know but for some inexplicable reason, the Maxima is. A tight steering ratio helps belie the Maxima's portly curb weight, while a well-tuned suspension and chassis feels both confident in corners and comfortable around town. So, if not for these rock-hard all-season tires, the Maxima is the real deal. Delivering even greater lateral thrills is the sportier SR trim complete with a firmer, quicker reacting suspension, stiffer chassis components, paddle shifters linked to seven artificial gears, and active trace control, which automatically brakes the inside front wheel to help the vehicle rotate, helping propel every Maxima from zero to 60 in about 5.9 seconds with but a hint of torque steer is a 3.5 liter V6 turning out 300 horsepower and 261 pound-feet of torque. In terms of efficiency, our real-world fuel economy figures didn't stray far from the EPA's 22 MPG city, 30 MPG highway estimates. Pricing begins just north of $33,000, including destination fees, and ends right around $40,500. Emulating the Honda mantra, feature content is tied exclusively to trim level, of which there are five. Standard fare consists of two USB ports, navigation tied to an 8-inch display, backup camera, dual-zone climate control, passive entry with push-button start, an 8-way power driver's seat that does not include adjustable lumbar support, six airbags, and automatic headlight control. Leather upholstery and driver's seat lumbar support is standard on SV grades and up, though only platinum trims feature adaptive cruise control, LED headlights, rain-sensing windshield wipers, ambient interior lighting, heated and ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, a well-rounded 11-speaker Bose audio system, 360-degree around view monitor, and a panoramic moonroof. It should also be noted that Platinum Maximas, along with loaded versions of the Chevrolet Impala and Toyota Avalon, command a rather modest $3,500 premium over fully equipped mid-size sedans like the Kia Optima, Honda Accord, and Ford Fusion. Just food for thought. The ever-increasing proportions of mid-size sedans has all but cannibalized the full-size car market. 
but the Maxima's pivot into sportier, more premium territory makes it an intriguing play among large mainstream sedans. And considering what you get for the money, this veteran nameplate still has a lot going for it. <laughs>